Hi, I'm Ben and I'm the CTO from BIMObject and in this video tutorial we'll be going through the ASA Abloy Entrance Systems range of products and today we'll be looking at the sliders to start off with so we have three different slider types we have the Blast, the Frame and the Slim now all of the, uh, the sliders are available for download for free of charge available for both Archicad and Revit and they're available from BIMObject.com or via the ASA Abloy multi-branded private cloud which is accessible via the ASA Abloy icon in the BIM object app for Archicad. So as you can see here we have all of the settings that the doors have in real life so we have the clearance levels, the clear opening heights, the frame widths so by simply holding your cursor over one of these abbreviations you will find the full explanation. We have mix maximums and minimums uh, regarding the measurements as you can see here so you cannot go below or over these maximums and minimums as you can see and the same with the frame width we also have different finishes so for the profile finishes we have anodized aluminium as standard we have rail powder coats as well and then within the rail we have the three different alternatives here so gloss matte and semi-gloss and then by clicking on the color palette you get the full RAL color system uh, that's available in the drop down menu here and you can simply choose from the desired color. And the last option, special, gives you access to your own Archicad library but please be aware uh, in, some instance, in some instances it may not be possible to order it in a particular color. We also have options here and in this case we don't have any options at the moment, we have a note that simply states that the secure structural steel uh, needs a fixing base for example. We have the different glazing alternatives and the different types here so there's not many alternatives in this particular configuration. When you go to the description text it gives you the information regarding on what you configured in the first page. For the appearance here we have different settings regarding the 2D, 3D sections so at a low level of detail you can choose the different pen types so if you have a company pen set you can simply connect those to the different settings here now the different detail levels if we have 2D scale sensitive is actually driven by the Archicad main window scale so if we were to change that from 1 to 100 to 1 to 50 to example the level of detail would change the 3D doesn't change, it's not scale sensitive, so this is actually a manual function where you need to go and change it yourself. The default is set to simple. We have different pen settings for wall contours uh, and the, the normal Archicad settings that you would expect to find in a door. Then we have the different 2D symbolic displays, again as you would expect in a, uh, in a standard Archicad door, or also available for the BSUM products, for the BSUM sliders the different cavity closures as you can see here and then finally we have all of the BIM object information so links back to the product portal and links back to the ASA Abloy entrance system so the pedestrian systems in this case so here we're going back to the BIMobject.com website for that particular product we have installation instructions as you can find here which is the ASA Abloy entrance system website so for the brand BSUM and finally technical descriptions again going back to the ASA Abloy entrance system website by clicking on the BSUM logo in the user interface you're given the option to choose a local uh, BSUM support system and by clicking on the BIM object logo you're taking directly back to BIMobject.com so once we've configured that if we go ahead and take OK here I'm just going to change the seal height here to zero and these act as standard Archicad doors so in this case we're showing the placement or choosing the placement of the actual slider so the sliding mechanism so you can see here that we have the 2D functionality the arrow showing in uh, the opening direction in 2D and in 3D as you can see here now this is the blast door that we've chosen so as I mentioned earlier we have the different scale settings so if we change this now this is set on scale sensitive we can override this as so this is always being shown at 1 to 100 1 to 50 or 1 to 10 
uh, or the scale sensitive. So if you choose one of the overrides, that means that it's shown at that specific scale regardless of the Archicad main window scale. Again, we have 2D functionality to make sure that there's no clashes around the door. And this is very good to see if, there's, uh, if it's good for accessibility, for handicap accessibility, for example. Again, these functionalities are available in the 3D window as well. If we have a look at the 3D level of detail, we have it set to a simple level of detail at the moment. You also have the choice to go in and change this to a high level of detail. If we go back to the appearance setting and the 3D and change that to detailed, what you'll now see is a higher level of detail uh, for the profiles. And we show all of the sealants around the openings as well. And the different uh, sliding mechanisms that you can see here. We just change that back to 1 to 100 and just go ahead and quickly move that and choose the next one. So as you can see here, we have the next door type here. We have a hinged pocket screen in this particular alternative. We have safety mechanisms, so finger traps and head traps as you can see here. And we have the different laminated glasses. Because these are blast doors, uh, there's limited amount of configurations or configurable settings, as you can see here. Again, the different frame heights, the different clearance and frame widths, for example. So if we go to the next set of doors here, the frame, you'll see that we have some different options. Now, because these are not blast doors or safety doors, we have uh, more configurable options. So if we start off with the, the single door here, you see that we have different options for glazing bars, different profiles. We have a normal profile and a thermal profile, which is insulated. We have a tight seal. We all have a deep, also a deep bottom rail, and we have three different standards for the thresholds. Again, the mid rail height, this is adjustable. It's adjustable in the dialog here, it's also adjustable in the elevation window and in the 3D window, which I'll show in a moment. So again, depending on how you've configured it, we get the, the text back here. And we have the different opening system, so we have the SL500. And if we choose the SL500, we have some pocket side or some side pocket alternatives here. And I'll come back to that in a moment. And again, we have the same settings regarding levels of details, pen settings, wall contours, etc. and the product information back on the BSUM website and on BIMobject.com. So as you can see here, we've configured another slider here, the frame, with all of the settings that we had, so with the tight seals and the different thresholds. So if we go ahead and select this, you see that we have an editable hotspots. The hotspots that are purple in Archicad are actually interactive or editable. So as you can see here, we can grab onto one of those and start editing that particular function. So in this case, the mid rail. Again, we have the opening functionality available in the 3D window, the 2D window also. So if we go back and do some, uh, some other settings, so if we take the, the next door here, so as you can see here, if we change the uni slide, we now don't have the option to have the side pocket screens as this particular opening system doesn't allow for that. So if we go on to the next one here and choose one of the pocket screens, as you can see here, we've chosen the SL500, which allows for the pocket screens. The pocket screens are also openable both in the 2D and the 3D window as you can see here and the sliding system as well to make sure that there's no interference and so we can measure clear opening widths and heights for example and if we change the uni slide as you can see here the pocket screen alternative disappears
So if we take the next doors here, again we have the functionality, the same functions here, so the mid rails without or with the mid rails, the cover lengths for example, so this is fixed at 4 meters. The frame height is changeable, 1.9 to 3, the same with the clear opening height. Again we have the color settings or the material settings. We have the deep bottom rail, the tight seals, and we have the, uh, the, the side pocket screens as you can see here. These are also adjustable in the 2D window, so we can adjust the widths of the pocket screens. As you can see here, if we adjust the pocket screens, it also affects the width or the clear opening width of the of the slider as well. And the mid rails, when they're adjusted, they're all adjusted symmetrically as you can see here. So by moving one you move all of them. And the opening functionality as well. And again all of these objects or these doors, the BSUM doors that I'm showing today are available free of charge from BIMobject.com. They can also be accessed via ASA Abloy Entrance Systems website as well. So what I'd like to do now is just quickly draw a section through this door and quickly show the scale or scale functionality. So as you can see here, this is set to scale sensitive, so it's a very simple model. If we change it to 1 to 50, we're getting a little bit more detail, and 1 to 20, we're getting a full level of detail. So this means that you don't have to spend much time on the, the detail phase. So basically all you need to do is change the scale, you get the full level of detail, and you can put some, uh, some measurements around the openings, etc. And then it's all done. And finally, we have the uh, the frame, or sorry, the slim sliders. So the difference between the frame and slim and the frame sliders are the width of the profiles. We also have some different glazing options for the slim range of products, as you can see here. We also have some different glazing finishes. So we have clear, green, bronze, and opaque. And again, we have the uh, the same functionality or the same options here for the SL500 and the Unislide. Now because this is a slim system we do actually have a pockets, pocket screen uh, alternative for the Unislide and then we have three options within that particular product range. So if we go ahead and take OK and have a look at that in the 3D window. So as you can see here now this is the slim door with the pocket screens. So if we go ahead and turn those pocket screens off, so we have none and take OK, and we have the uni slide opener as well here. So again, same functionality as the other doors, the opening functions in the 3D and the 2D window, the same level of detail functions that we found in the other doors. If we go ahead and change this to it's something really funky here, so a nice yellow color, and have a look at that. And if we go have a look at the level of detail, so just do some quick cutting planes here, and if we rotate that up and zoom around, so as you can see here in this uh, in the slim door here, we have a a simple level of detail by simply selecting it going into the level of detail or the appearance settings and changing the 3D to detail you see now that we have a full level of detail for the uh, for the slim frame door here the slider and if we go and have a look at the the frame slider here we also this is also set at a, a low level of detail and this is also a low level of detail so we do have the option to actually go in and change this to a high level of detail so again all of the the sliders the BSUM sliders from ASA Abloy Entrance Systems are available free of charge from BIMobject.com uh, they are also directly accessible via Archicad and the Revit apps as you can see here the ASA Abloy Entrance System taking you directly to the products on the ASA multi-branded private cloud 
and you can go ahead and download the sliders directly from bimobject.com. So thank you for your time and we'll see you next time.